Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Daily Word, this Monday of these Larry last few days of the month of August. So glad you could join me for our time together. Rain and sunshine today and muggy. So um, it is August, though. And so we, but we're headed into September, believe it or not. So glad you could join me for our time together as we continue our journey through the Daily Word and how it speaks to us and what it means to us. So this morning, um, I've chosen from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verses 19 through 21, and we hear these words. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So that very last line, for where your treasure is, there your heart will be also, is one of the things that really jumped out at me in this text and what it means for us and how we live our lives. So yesterday in worship, um, we talked about and shared hospitality. And so, you know, we had the kids come up front and we essentially did a, a different version of children's church during worship. And the kids came up and we, we talked about hospitality and we shared hospitality and we, we gave donuts to everybody. Um, I know not everybody's a donut eater, but everybody was gracious and took a donut. Um, when we got done, I sat down and the kids and I were eating our donuts while everyone in the congregation sang the closing hymn. And we talked about the fact that there were only a couple of glazed donuts left and that others of us might have wanted a glazed donut, but part of being a host, part of having hospitality is that sometimes you get what's left. Um, but then I said to them, there were about eight donuts left. I guessed really close the amount of donuts I bought. Um, I said, the good thing about being the host, too, though, is you get the leftovers. And, and we laughed about that and talked about what that means for us. And this idea for us that where your treasure is, your heart will be also. And so I wonder about for us as we live our lives, what this could mean for us. Where is our treasure? Where do we place our time that we spend where do we put the most of our energy? Where is it that, um, you know, we could, we could look at our calendars and say, my energy went to this and this and this. We could look at our checkbooks or our debit card or whatever it is. I check my account online and say, well, my money went to this and this and this. It's in those things, those busy things in life that we put our treasure and there our heart is. And I wonder sometimes, if we get them mixed up, you know, um, that we, we store up for ourselves and we take pride in, for some reason, take pride in our busy calendars. There's so much to do. I can't possibly do this. I can't possibly come to church. I can't possibly volunteer to do anything because I'm so busy. Um, or, we, or we can't give in whatever capacity that looks like because we are so busy. And our, our account, whether that be financially or just our, our account of energy, is used up. I think Jesus challenges us in this text um, to check our hearts, to see where we're invested the most. Now, I'm not saying that the things on our calendars aren't important. They are. I mean, we, we all have things we'd like to do, you know. But I think... I think for us, one of our challenges in life is that we don't make time often for the spiritual. We don't make time often for being in worship. We don't make time often, you know, for coming Wednesday night. Uh, we don't make time for those things, you know, that, that feed us and nourish us in that kind of way. So when we look at our treasures... When we look at what we invest in, 
What is it that speaks the loudest to us about our investment of time and finances and energy? Um, what is it, you know, Betsy and I talk about it all the time, our office manager, um, both of our desks have lots of things. And, you know, we work hard at it. We try to get things done. But we always say, you know, it's going to be there the next day. It's going to be there the next day. You know, <clears throat> sometimes we just need to talk. 15 minutes today, we just needed to talk about stuff. Not work stuff, just stuff. Um, so I think the question for us is how do we spend where we put our energy, um, and what is that that moves us to live our lives so that we're living whole lives? I think we have to, and I have to do this too sometimes, um, check our investments, you know, check what's important to us, um, see what it is that that is just taking so much of our time that we're storing up treasures that we're forgetting that where your treasure is, there your heart is. And so those are interesting questions. And I got to thinking about that this morning, early this morning, um, thinking about my schedule this week and the things I had to accomplish. And usually every Sunday, Diana and I say, last night, she got the calendar and said, so I have you home t tomorrow night, and then you have this and this and this and this and this. Yep, that's true. And then I think, oh, those are... I'm not sure those are those are wise investments and so I think we just need a reminder in our lives to check for where your treasure is there your heart will be also now just quickly this verse also talks to us about heaven and I believe that God's kingdom heaven is lived here as well. And it's not some far off place. Um, and that we should um, use our lives wisely so that God's kingdom, heaven, is also realized in this place as we live our lives with each other. So it's a bit of my rambling for today about our daily words. So I pray you'll know of God's love and that you and I would check where our heart is and where our treasures are um, and, and see what we need to adjust as God calls to us. Know God's love. Know my love. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Have a great day.